Okay, we are doing a filter install today on a 2024 Ford F-350 67 Power Stroke. We have this one on the online, and this is a late model 2024. It's only got 1,500 miles on it. Oil bypass filter and the Lorenzo's 540. 540. And the fuel additive to go along with it. So. Yeah, doing fuel additive. So 16 millimeter wrench for the plug, 15 quarts. This is 1,500 miles? 1,500 miles on the truck. On the truck right now. Yeah, first we're draining it. I just dropped the plug in the container. So it's not the same so we got a plug as a- As a 23 power as stroke. As a 23 power stroke, not the same plug. Uh, he just wanted a drain valve on the bottom so it's easier for him to change the oil. Um, this one actually will be going through the pressure port. No, I and this is your you, you oil pressure sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out this oil <laughs> pressure sensor. Uh, it's we're going to install a T. We're going to put the oil pressure sensor back in one side of the T and then we'll do our hose adapter into the other side of the T. And we'll run that hose from this pressure port back here but the bracket will mount right here in these two holes and the bypass filter will sit right here, sitting on the frame. The return line will come up okay. and we'll put it up All right. into and the engine compartment. It'll go into the fill yeah. port, yeah. your fill cap. I'll bring the cap. That's Where's a super port? easy spot right there. Yeah, like, <laughs> so that'll be good. I'm putting the M14 by 1.5 adapter in there. So if you ever wanted to return to the oil pan, that's the Is that what it is? Yep. So it's a 14 by 1.5 thread. Yep. Kind of old school. If it's if it was done by Ford, it shouldn't be that terrible to get off. Yeah. <laughs> the little white clip looks like that when you first get there. And I pulled back on it away from the sensor and it and then you press down on the white. Press down on the white and it releases and it unplugs. 15 16 is the size of socket. So that's your oil pressure sensor. There's that. No, not yet. And this goes here because these are O-ring tapered and flat spin. So you can use either one on either side. Okay. Thread sealant. Thread sealant, it's not tape. Okay, so we're gonna install the, the T, the brand. The, we're gonna install the T. Turn this on so you can see. As you can see, this T has got three ports on it. Our newer ones will be a swivel T. So now, I'm gonna torque it to 60 inch pounds. That direction. And we're gonna use, so there's a port here that you can see, there's a port here oh, and a port God. here. So we're I gonna mark the one we wanna use, which is this one. This. Then we're gonna take it back off and we'll plug the other two holes. All right, so you got, this is the one we want to use. We'll plug this one, and we'll plug this one so that when we spin it back in there, it'll hit in that same spot again, and then we'll thread our 90 into this one. Put thread sealant on the threads. Screw that in. Eleven foot pounds. <laughs> it's about 122 inch pounds, oh which is right, not very much. Thread sealant it. Don't lose the O-ring gasket. Eleven foot pounds. Did you hear my arm click? Not very tight, to tell you the truth. So we'll install the T, we'll torque it to 60 inch pounds.
We'll install thread sealant on the threads and install the 90. In fact, I'm gonna leave that there. Let's do the... This one? Fitting, yeah, that sensor first. Okay. Before I get this 90 in the way of my socket, 60 inch You're pounds. Back it off. I think you went over 60. No. See? Oh, yeah. I was well, I was right there. Oh, you were pretty close. You hear my elbow click? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So we're going to retorque it. Okay. That's really not very tight. We can reinstall oil pressure wiring. You hear it clicks, and then you push that white lock in. Okay, so we're gonna install the oil filter. This customer wants us to pre-fill it so that he doesn't have air in his system when he goes to start it for the first time after the oil change. A lot of people don't know you can pour a bucket out like this and it doesn't glug. No mess. Well, I'll probably make a mess now that I said that. Look at that, no mess. If you pre-fill your filter, you're preventing that air pocket from working its way through your engine on that first startup after an oil change. And I'm oiling the O-ring on the top of this filter so it doesn't get stuck for the next guy that's gonna take it off. Turn on my handy dandy light. Good job, Ford, on your placement of your oil filter. Okay. Filter's installed. T's installed, the 90's installed. Oh, 2020 and newer. Ford, 6.7. These are the nuts and the bolts that will hold the bracket those are the part numbers. on the frame. These are the part numbers. All right. Yeah. So, with those part numbers from Ford, you come on the frame right here. See, I got one of them installed already. Slide it in the hole. There's your nuts. So. In the frame rail there, you can access it here. And then there's a hole on the back side of the frame right here that it comes out of. Okay, so this is the swivel 90, which means I can actually hold this 90 in place and I can spin the threads in. Pull the hose over the top. Up to where you're gonna be probably about right there. Okay. And then you take your electrical tape and you mark. Or you're gonna cut it. Pull it back through the frame. Just under four feet. So you're gonna cut this. Three quarter, three, inch, three quarter inch socket. Socket. Not quite there. You can see it bottom out. There's a the ledge side of the threads at the right, the back side of the threads, the hose comes in and hits up against the ledge. And then, and then you dip this in some fresh oil and you're going to hold this hose and make sure it doesn't twist or move down as you're going in. Go all as far as you can with by hand and go the rest of the way in, making sure the hose isn't moving or coming out of the fitting or twisting. Install it on the pressure port next to your oil pressure sensor. So this is an 11 16th crow's foot so that I can torque this to 11 foot pounds or 122 inch pounds. Right. From the oil pressure sensor T to, to the in 
port of the filter. They're labeled on the bottom of the filter. You've got an in and an out. So from the pressure, oil pressure sensor to the in. Tighten this to 11 foot pounds. Inch pounds. 22 inch pounds. <laughs> okay, then you come back over here, put your other hose fitting together. <laughs> Oil. Hold, make sure it holds Hold. by hand just until it touches. So we're going to put this temporarily into here. Put the fitting on. Yeah. If you don't put oil on it, it sh just shoves the hose right back out of the fitting as you're sc screwing it down rather than going onto the inside of it is what you want it to do. But it really is way easier if you can get it in a vise. Make sure the hose doesn't move. Make sure the hose doesn't twist. And take it until it bottoms out. Put the drain plug in here. How much does it cost to drill in to get that other thing put in right here? We're going on this side of this so that it doesn't interrupt that. So right here. So it doesn't interrupt this. Because if you go right here, then when this goes up and down, it's going to run into the hose. So we're staying under and out of the way. Hose comes up right here. And then you put it up onto here. And then you're going to tie it down. Thread sealant onto the new you're gonna need something filling to cap. So it's 5 8 16. 16 millimeter. And we're going to torque it to 11 100. foot pounds or 122 inch, inch pounds. pounds. Okay, so we're going to install the cap. Pull that direction, can you? Take some of the slack out of it. Okay. Come in here. Swivel 90s are freaking awesome. Okay, so this is a, again 11 foot pounds. Filters in it. 35 foot pounds on this one. Because it is over 100 degrees. 35 foot pounds. Okay, we're filling up the oil. 16 quarts. I want to see it pushing in. It's going to be about 15 minutes for that. Yeah? Yeah. Now we see the teeth. Yeah, on his 20, 24 miles of the gallon. 21? But his 2023 F350. What is he getting? 24. 24, 24 miles to the gallon. Wow. With the additive, Empty. the oil, and, yeah. and the bypass. 